Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching C Winners video series on string interview question series and this video is about reverse the string and I know it sounds easy for some people but for beginners this is not going to be easy. So if this is the string you just have to reverse this whole thing. So if you will reverse it how it will look uh, I mean H S E P U N R. So you have to make this string let's suppose this is your variable it's an array of characters and then you have to convert this in place and it should be like this. So yesterday I showed you the trick like how to find the palindrome A, B, A and B and A. So if you have this string, this is palindrome or not. So how we used to go? We used to go like this, right? First you will check these two and then if this correct, meaning if they are equal, you will go for these two, right? Yeah. So the similar way will apply here also. and we are going for n by 2 and n is the length of this string. Similarly, here also we will go n by 2 and we will just keep swiping. There is no if condition like we had if condition when we were looping through this characters. Remember, if you have already watched my video. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to watch it, go and watch. That is the first video of this playlist. And this is string interview question series. Okay. So we just have to swipe these two places. I mean these two places. And then it would start looking like this and then we have to swap these two places and we have to swap these two places and then we don't have any further to go so we'll just break it meaning we have to loop till the half of this string so we'll get the length of the string first and then we'll apply the loop till the half only so let's quickly see the code and we'll sum this so this is your code it is really very tiny tiny code and there is no recursion nothing it's just very simple I know I've been bombarding you guys with the recursion questions so far, but this is really going to be very easy. So as I said, we'll keep a length of this string, whatever we get this S here. Okay, this is S. So we get it. We get the length of the string. And for us, it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we have 6. 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. So you will loop only for 3 times. So 0 to less than 3 meaning 0, 1 and 2 time. So this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So see we have this standard swap function. So basically you are going to swap this first position which is 0th position which is this guy R with the last one. How do you get the last one dynamically so that you can loop it? You have to traverse backward right? So in order to get this one you have to have this formula. Length is 6 minus i is 0 minus 1. What is this minus 1? Because it will give you length 6 but our indexing start with the 0 right? So you have to do 1 minus to this and what is this minus i? So that dynamically you can push back. I mean you can traverse back okay because your i will keep incrementing. So if you decrement that i with this length you will keep going backwards. I mean from back you will keep going to the middle okay. So like this this is like r and this whole thing is like 6 minus 1 is 5 so I said this is 5 so you will end up swapping these two characters with the help of this one and then you will increment this i plus plus which will increment i so you are reaching here and then similarly this guy will get swapped with each other and similarly I will get incremented again and then we will swap these two okay so we have swapped the whole thing and this is the optimized way and I'm telling you, if you will ask this question to freshers, I mean, nowadays freshers are so smart, but you'll still find people doing this question wrong. Okay. And I mean, they'll do some crazy stuff to do this, but it is very simple as you can see. Okay. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care and don't forget to hit the like button guys. It helps me a lot. Thank you so much.